already. <laughs> All right, so here you are, game on, the excitement level of getting this thing going. Yeah, everything's exciting right now. Our guys are really excited to practice. We had a good practice today. We're ready to go. Does the idea of defending a title come into play at this point in time? Uh, we don't worry about that. Last year is last year. We're concentrating on this year. It's a new tournament, a new time, and our guys are excited. Mm -hmm. How's Coach Self doing today? He's doing good. He's doing good. He was at practice this morning with the guys. He was at practice yesterday, so he's doing good. Mm -hmm. He came up separate is what we were told, is that? Yeah, yeah, okay. he came up with his family. Okay. That's what some guy up there over there. Did they drive? Uh, yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the general plan for tomorrow um, with you guys and, and maybe with him? Uh, We're just seeing how it goes day to day to day and, and seeing how it goes. And, uh, Kevin, Kevin go today? Yeah, yeah, Kevin practiced, great practice, everybody practices, it's great. Day to day, does that include uh, come, come Thursday, game time? Yeah, we haven't decided. Coach, what happened to Grady? I mean, we heard he got nicked up. Well, I think uh, like the third play of the game, it was a loose ball and he dove for it, and the guy dove right on top of him. Kind of, kind of twisted his back up a little bit. How did Kevin look to you in practice? Good, good. He was bouncy. Uh, stayed in there the whole time, went through everything. Looked good. How excited are the young guys about a chance to actually play in a March Madness game after watching it their whole lives? I, I think they're really excited, but I think they still don't know until they do some of the things we do tomorrow and then feel the magnitude of it and everything. But I think they're excited. What did you think of that welcome? I think it was great. It was loud. <laughs> it was, it was uh, enthusiastic, but it was, I thought it was awesome. What do you think about Howard from studying film? Really, really good team. Uh, they've got length. They got the ability to score. Uh, they've got uh, four guys that have shot over 100 threes. Um, they're out rebounding their opponent by five almost. Um, and then they change defenses quite a bit and, and try to cause havoc. And they probably have one of the best young point guards in the country who really does a great job of getting the ball to people. What do you think of him hitting 47 percent of his threes? He's a good. He's a, he's a really good shooter, but he's not a guy that's just out there trying to shoot. He's a guy that's trying to make plays for the other guys and set people up. He's a real quarterback, very similar to Juan in that way, uh, but he can really shoot the basketball. What are the advantages of playing so close to home? Uh, your fans. You know, hopefully your fans are going to be here, which we know our fans really travel well, so we're excited about them being here for us. But once you get out there on the court, you got to make it happen. Coach, I'm sorry if I missed it. Is, is there a plan for Coach Self or kind of what his role will be this weekend? Day to day, we're, we're talking about. Was there a message for these guys before you left, Lawrence? Uh, the message, the start? Well, the message about being focused and understanding every team that you're playing is a champion. Uh, they know how to win. Uh, they're hungry. Uh, they want to win as much as you do. Um, and then paying attention to detail because, you know, uh, uh, one turnover, uh, one lack of an assignment defensively could mean you're going home. So you've really got to lock in and be focused. And how much do you lean on DeWan, Jalen, the guys that were a big part of last year for that message? A ton. Yeah. Kevin, too, because he's been through yeah. it. And uh, just knowing that, hey, man, you got to take care of your business. you got to be, uh, you got to communicate well. Uh, everybody's got to be focused all the whole time. They seem ready? Yeah. Yeah, they seem excited and ready. And how's he feeling? I saw I was in the back. Kevin, is he feeling okay? He's feeling good. He's doing good practice. Has Coach been at two practices? Yeah. yeah. What is What has he been doing? What is his main message? Uh, that's it always is. Let's practice hard. Let's be focused. Let's execute. Let's defend. And, you know, we talked a lot about defense and then we got to guard and make people uncomfortable because we didn't do a very good job that last time we played. Norm, I know this hasn't been about you at all, but, but have you spent extra time with Bill the last four or five days in any way just to try to hone in on, on a little of what he's thinking a little not, more? Not really, because uh, we spent a lot of time together anyway yeah. and, and talking as a, as a complete staff. We all do it and everything. So, you know, we just talked about what we need to do, uh, how we need to focus in, what gives us the best chance of winning. Are you aware of the last time you came to Des Moines, you guys won two decisive games? Uh, I didn't think that far back. I don't know how far back that was, but I hope that's what happened. And uh, we need to try to do that again. Looking past how can you talk to us about the rest of the teams in this side of the bracket? Well, you don't look past them. You don't look past how because they're very, very good. But, you know, we've got two other teams in this bracket that are very good. Illinois is a very physical, tough team, great coach. And Brad Underwood, and, and then Arkansas is a very athletic 
long team that can cause you a ton of problems. They can play fast. They can score at all five positions. So they're both going to be really tough opponents. Can you talk about the position that you guys are in coming off of the loss? I, I, I think you just you know it's a new season. It's a new day. Um, our guys have played really well over the last month. And, and uh, we didn't play as well as we wanted to the last time we were out. But we know now this is a new show, a new tournament. And we've got to be ready for that. Thanks, Mark.